Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will be learning about what are the various uh, different testing environment which are available in any software. So I am going to discuss in this video like uh, the dev environment, what is all about it and what is uh, SIT environment which is system integration testing environment and also we have an user acceptance testing environment we have and we have pre-production as well as production environment. So I am going to discuss in detail about each of these environment in this video. Let us uh, proceed further for what is all about dev environment. Dev environment basically it is an environment where this environment normally used by developers who does writing the program or writing the code or modifying the code deleting a code or whatever the operation which they does is they do in the dev environment and this environment is totally a controlled environment because every developers will have their own environment in their machine or virtual machine. He will be writing the code and he will be writing the test cases and he will be testing within that dev environment that is controlled environment where all our unit testing takes place in this environment to ensure whatever the code developer has created that should work as expected once he runs the unit testing in this environment and developers normally use either the local environment or shared development environment which is shared across uh, various developers as well as part of this uh, dev environment. Then uh, we will try to understand system integration testing environment. The system testing environment here basically we will be using this environment by the software testers. Basically whenever we are trying to integrate the multiple components or models that is when we will be using this environment. Our main intention or main goal is to test uh, various different components or modules to see how the software components are really interacting each other and uh, to ensure that uh, the data flow is happening properly without having any challenges uh, as part of this system integration testing. Then the next type of environment we have is user acceptance testing environment. Normally the user acceptance testing will be performed by the end user or a customer where uh, the end user will be using their own environment to test the uh, software. So basically the user acceptance testing is done by end user client or stakeholders who validate the software functionality as well as usability of the application. Normally the user acceptance testing we do before uh, we are deploying to the release that is when we will be doing uh, user acceptance testing and normally in user acceptance testing we will be more focusing on the real world scenarios to ensure software meets the requirements as well as the uh, end user expectations. So as part of this overall testing we will be using uh, the user acceptance testing environment to perform UIT just to see whatever the issues we are able to find or we could able to find we should be able to find it in UIT testing environment later the next step is either we will be going to pre-production or directly into the production environment and the next type of environment is pre-production test environment. Normally the pre-production test environment again it is a control and closely replicating the setup that simulates the production environment which is almost uh, mimics the production environment but here test data normally we will be creating our own or mimicking the test data which is available in the production environment and it is an intermediate uh, environment between the development as well as actual production deployment of a software application. Our job, our main goal or uh, objective of this pre-production environment is to test rigorously uh, of uh, its components and interaction across uh, different models uh, to see how the overall functionality of the software really does work and before we put into production if you do this pre-production uh, testing definitely we can uh, mitigate lot of risk uh, when we put into the uh, production environment our code. The last type of uh, environment is production environment. Basically this environment normally 
uh, will be with the end user or with the customer because this is a live environment, real world environment. Our uh, job becomes very serious, especially if production environment stop working, then it leads to a lot of issues. Because of that, we should be very careful uh, whenever we are replying our uh, product into the uh, production environment. There is a lot of risk also associated whenever we are deploying it. Because of that, we have to be very quick uh, to provide a solution as well whenever there is an issue with the production environment. We have to keep monitoring uh, various things uh, while uh, deploying onto the production environment as well as we have to keep maintaining uh, the production environment regularly to see the, its stability as well as address any unexpected issues whenever we are uh, deploying our code into this uh, production environment. So these are the some of the test environments available in our uh, software industry. I hope you guys got a clear idea which are those different environments, what are the different objectives or purpose of these environments. If you guys really like this video, please click on like button. If you guys are not subscribed, do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.